Welcome to San Lando Soundwakes. I'm Cheryl Bain. This is week six, day 29. Today we're re- reading from Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 23. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who, sub- who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We know that the whole of creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship the redemption of our bodies. Let's look at our seven arrows. What does this passage say? What did this passage mean to its original audience? What does this passage tell us about God? What does this passage tell us about humans? What does this passage demand of me? How does this passage change the way I relate to people? What does this passage prompt me to pray to God? Let's look at our reading on page 29 of our book. Sin's effects are far-reaching. Creation itself is broken, and we can see this plainly in natural disasters such as earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes, among other things. Paul described these acts as Earth's experiencing the pain of childbirth. Right now, the world groans, but soon new life will come. One day, this broken Earth will be made right again. Our bodies are also broken. People are still made in God's image and given the mission of reflecting Him in the world. But now, our bodies suffer through sickness, disease, and aging. These physical signs of brokenness are a testimony to the fact that we are dead in sin. Like the world, we too long for the day when our bodies will be made new. The time when no one we love will die of cancer, when we won't have to take medicine, and when we'll never get sick or injured. For now, we live in a world that sin has broken. However, because of Jesus, there is hope for the future. Thanks for tuning in today, friends. We hope that you will join us tomorrow.